Turn it up. What's going on everyone? Today, I got a phone call. My brother had bought something that I wasn't expecting. He works for a car dealer. He needed a car real quick. So he's done something maybe a lot of you have thought about. He bought, a, well, maybe a lot of you didn't think about doing this. He bought a car from an auction online without seeing it in person. So I was terrified. I told him I had to come and film it. So we went to the auction. We picked up the car. We're at a gas station in the middle of nowhere. We put gas in it. So I'm going to show you guys what it is, and you can talk to him for a minute, and we'll see why he did it. So here's the car. There it is, guys. It's a 2000 Lexus GS300. I'm not going to... I want you guys to tell me in the comments, what do you think he paid for that with fees and everything? We're going to take a little walk around it. I mean, it's actually really nice. And for not knowing what the hell he bought, <laughs> the center console is ripped up a little, but the seats are... His stuff's on that one, but the seats look good. The back seats look nice. There we go. Door panels look good. Just needs a little cleaning. Car's been idling ice cold air. Let's look at the mileage. So it's got 279,000 miles. <laughs> Idle's perfect, everything works. Steering wheel's a little funky. But, yep, so you guys haven't met him yet, but this is my brother, Eddie. Hey, guys. You guys already know my other brother, Tim, from Breaking the Shell. A lot of you are already his subscribers. So Eddie's got a channel, too, but uh, it's not really set up yeah, yet. Yeah, not really yet. It's kind so of Option it's, B Garage. Yeah, his channel is Option B Garage. And his is going to be like mine, except a little weirder. You know, like buying stuff online you never saw. So let's take a little walk around. Headlights need to be cleaned up. You guys see my video on that, so I guess I'll help him out on that. I'll, I'll charge him half price. But look at that. So tell me in the comments, what what is your guess what he paid for it? I think he, do you think he paid way too much or it's a nice, it's actually a nice looking car. And we had to drive, you know, we live in Knoxville, Tennessee. We had to drive to Lenora City, which is with the traffic we had, it was maybe an hour away. It was a really crappy drive. But, so what do you guys think? Ooh, I can't see how close I am. So what do you guys think? Let me know. I'm gonna make more videos tomorrow. I got some funny stuff coming up for you guys. <laughs> I'm bringing Eddie's son, my nephew Brandon, and we're gonna take little Stuart Little out to the Dragon again. And we're also going to do something else with a car with Brandon. You're going to love it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Didn't mean to stop it right there. Completely forgot to show you guys the engine. <laughs> I know someone was going to comment about that. So it's a little greasy, but here's the engine on this thing. Let me turn the camera around. There you go. So this thing was a trade-in at a car, car dealer, like a new car dealer. So got a little grease there. There's a VVTI cam in there, and they're prone for leaking. But also, the only problem we've had so far with this is uh, that there's no power steering. So I'm guessing that might be what all that is. So the power steering's right here. These engines are notorious for leaking power steering fluid. Other than that, oh yeah, brand new battery. 300,000 so, miles almost. Yeah. So there you go real quick. That was another little piece. See you guys later.